how to sing in five minutes with a timer today and let's just dive straight into the video let's start so number one is head and neck anchoring it's really important that you have a good posture here is a picture of, from one of my favorite books that shows that if you are bending over for example to just watch out for your lyrics when you are singing then you are taking chances that the elevator muscles are not working properly that the larynx will drop in pitch and that muscles are actually inflicted while singing you really want to make sure that you are having a good posture we don't want you to stay a straight as it's like a soldier right but we want you to be aligned and have a good posture and especially the head and neck anchoring that's something from Astel when you do high notes and you want to have more stability um, especially if you belt if you use an intense production just try to head and neck anchor have a good posture don't bend over with your shoulders you know make sure all the muscles are aligned and working perfectly for you let's go into number two and that is vowel modification so a big problem is how do i sing certain words certain vowels we don't sing um, necessarily the way we speak right these are two different pair of shoes now if you go and sing into the unknown by frozen you have different vowels by the into the unknown into the unknown so the singer is taking us through three different kind of vowels yeah into the unknown the higher she goes the more she gradually opens up so think about diamonds from Rihanna so shine bright we don't go shine bright tonight we go shine bright there is an R in the bride tonight the same with tonight so you see all of a sudden that E in shine becomes a shine becomes a R E and not an E so vowel modification is essential especially if you want to just project better and um, you want to have a different tongue position you want to have a different sound outcome especially if you're singing high notes then you don't want to strain yourself on an E most of the time an E becomes an A so vowels are changing keep that in mind number three is uh, basics of course and this is just hitting the note very very straight so the basic foundation of singing is to learn how to sing the notes very very clear yeah very clear in a clear line there is a good exercise that goes like this so basics are hitting the notes be on pitch pitch accuracy Mami, mi, mo, mu. So make sure that you learn the foundation and this is pitch accuracy. Even if you're a good singer, you can get lost in emotions. And sometimes when singers get lost in emotion, they're just forgetting, forgetting the pitch accuracy. They're all over the place and then they're just getting lost in, in the feeling, which is really good. But sometimes it's good to have both, right? The pitch accuracy and uh, the feeling. So tip number three is pitch accuracy. Then I want to go into number three and that is the soft palette. So a really huge thing is the soft palette. The soft palette has three positions and one is that low, middle, I'm still touching like tongue and the soft palette still down. And you see I'm lifting it up. So the soft palette should be in the mid open position yeah so we don't want to have sing all the time like that it's quite nasally because it's a little bit like Fran Drescher from the nanny she's using a lot of that <laughs> soft palate slamming down and it's very nasally we want to make sure that when we are singing the soft palate is raised up so it's not going to be mm, uh, 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 uh. there's no contact between your tongue and the soft palate is not dropped down yeah so this is one thing that's important we have 40 seconds left and I want to go into dynamics yeah last but not least it's dynamics it's musical phrasing dynamics crescendo decrescendo staccato riffs and runs uh, growling or using rasp using distorted sounds um, soften notes use airy notes use more compression use less compression there is a lot of things that you can do while you sing a phrase right you can go and sing normally happy birthday very airy happy birthday but you can go and sing happy birthday that was more compression you can happy uh. 
We are out of time here. How do I stop that timer? Yeah, we are out of time, but let's finish that one. So you can go and sing happy birthday. And then you add some riffs into it. Yeah, and you can do um, some smooth crescendo, decrescendo. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Now I'm just playing around a little bit with crescendo, decrescendo. Um, and all the beautiful things that you can do, you can go from soft to more compressed. Yeah. <laughs> so this is something that is really important and gets you from an average singer into a really good singer is using dynamics, changing the tempo and follow a little bit of, yeah, maybe you use a bounce. Happy birthday. So you see I'm using different stylistic choices here and that gets you from average to really, really good. Of course, there are a lot of things to say. This is just five minutes that gives you a little bit of an overview of things that you can learn. There's millions of tons of things that you can learn. And really important is just try to tackle issue by issue, right? If you feel that you need to work a little bit on pitch accuracy, then you should try to just go and research more about that, right? Uh, or you need a little bit more in dynamics or in a vowel modification. Write me in the comment section, what is your issue to tackle? Is it vowel modification, head and neck anchoring? Is it the soft palate? Is it the pitch accuracy? So what do you think is an issue that you would like to tackle more and that you encounter as a difficulty in your singing? Let me know in the comment section and please watch now this following videos is showing you how to belt with one really easy cool exercise. And this is an exercise on how to sing Billie Eilish No Time to Die.